So I really didn't want to make this video. And it's it's going to be odd because I'm going to put myself out there to let you know what I am or who I am. But before we get started, let's talk a little bit really quick about Sweetie. So today was his court case. He had to be here at Ironton. He actually called, but we, nobody thought he was going to show up. Let's just say that. Nobody thought he was going to show up. And people were right. He actually called and got a continuance, which is due on the 26th of May. And he has to be there. Has to be there. And if he's not there, then he's in trouble. He will get put in his dungeon, in his torture cuffs. That's going to happen. So we're going to keep an eye on that. And that's not what this whole video is about. I wanted to give you guys some updates. Um, guys, check out uh, the Ironton Auditor. Um, he actually covered it today. Um, I, I got to see glimpses and pieces. See, there's there's a lot of things I'm going to miss. Um, that, you know, I, I work um, Monday through Friday uh, between seven to five o'clock, and you know, I from time to time on my breaks, I can reply back to comments and stuff, but I I can't really get out. Um, just due to the nature of my job. But I'm hoping that the community that is watching this and is actually covering this uh, keeps on doing what they're doing because they're doing great. Um, we're trying to take this guy, put him in his place, so he'll stop hurting people. He'll stop hurting people. That's ultimately why I make so many videos about it. That's why you see people like Blue Bacon, Mass Hole Report. You see those guys. You see Ironton Auditor. Um, Larry, what was his name? Larry, uh, was it Larry? Larry Flanoid. He was here too. He actually shown up. Um, him and uh, Ironton Auditor. And I forgot the lady's name. And I do apologize. She was used by Sweetie. And that's what I'm kind of talking about that, you know, we're trying to stop that from happening. Now, to jump ship here and stop talking about Sweetie, a lot of people, and this is this is fun to me because I, you know, every time I see these things, I, I laugh and I actually comment back to these. So, you know, I get I get a lot of comments are like, you're so fat, you live in your mom's basement. I know. I'm fat. I don't live with my mom. I live with my brother. Jeez. People say, you don't work. You're lazy. Be productive. I literally have a job. What do you do? I love to reply back and forth with these people. And... Some of them are just really good. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can come on my channel and you can say whatever you want about me. That's fine. That's fine. If you don't like me, you don't like me. I'm not making you watch my content. I'm not. But you're welcome here. You are. You're, I'm, you know, you are welcome here. It's your freedom of speech to say those things to me. And I'm not going to stop you from doing it. Unless you say something completely vile then we'll have a problem. Then you'll be blocked. But I'm not going to go and delete messages or comments just because you said mean things to me. I'm not going to do that. I, ultimately, you know, it's it's funny to me because it makes me realize that I'm doing something right. You guys wouldn't be coming after me if I was wrong. You guys obviously love Sweetie. I mean, you got to protect Sweetie. He's brainwashed you guys, but, he, you know, you know, you guys know. There's a lot of people making content about Sweetie. A lot. And I do make a lot of content about Sweetie. In the last month and a half since he came onto the scene, I have made a lot of content about him. And <laughs> a lot of people say, hey, you're totally obsessed with him. No, I mean, it's it's fun to really call him out on his bullshit. You know, if it was another person, I'd be doing the same damn thing. 
Yusu, I never done this kind of content. I never did. I never would have done this. And I switched up my channel a little bit and started going after bullies or people that, you know, making bad things happen to people. That's stupid. I should have worded that different. See, this, this is what happens when I don't script, which I never script anyways. Uh, everything I usually do is um, pretty on, on the fly there. So that's why you hear me stuttering a lot during my videos. <laughs> But uh, like I said, some a lot of the comments that I've been seeing from Sweetie's um, brigade, uh, they, they've been they've been funny. If anything, like you guys are making me laugh. Nothing against you. You can say whatever you want. At the end of the day, we're both humans, and we may disagree with each other. But you're welcome here. I I don't care. I don't care as long as you know you're not saying some vile bullsh bullshit like being. It's completely racist, homophobic, transphobic. And I know I used a term uh, during the auction that I shouldn't have used. You know, the G word. I shouldn't have said that. Because it is an insult. And, you know, it took me a, a little bit to realize that. And, like I said, I don't like hurting people's feelings. I don't I don't take that lightly. I, I, I don't. I don't. And I know that I'm kind of behind the times. I'm not completely PC perfect. And I don't really care for the PC stuff. I know, you know, I know not to be racist. I know not to be homophobic. I know I'm not supposed to be transphobic. I know these things. Okay. I, I don't need somebody to constantly push it down my throat or tell me everything I do is offensive just because they don't like it. And it's automatically offensive to them. It doesn't matter what I do. So... Let me tell you a little bit about myself. That way you guys can kind of know. So we'll also give uh, Sweetie's fans a little bit of ammo. So, my name's Derek. My name's Derek. I am a graphic designer slash IT specialist. I live in Ironton. I'm getting married in October to my best friend. I have really good friends that I've had for years. I haven't talked to a lot of them in a long time, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. So, for about seven years, I was with another girl. And, and yeah, I've told this story before, but I don't think I've told you guys since we've just got more viewers. Uh, a lot of things happened. You know, I got sick. I lost my job. She lost her job. You know, I, I started picking up other jobs. You know, I was making money. You know, I had a really nice house, a nice car, nice things. And things started spiraling down, down, down. And at the end of it, I lost pretty much everything I owned. I've had multiple suicide attempts. I do have heart disease. I have severe bipolar depression. And for a while, I kind of played on that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Some of my content, looking back at it, was woe is me. I've done some things that I'm not proud of. You know, I actually e-begged one time. Maybe twice. I, I have. I'm just going to tell you. I, I've done that before. I was so desperate. I was living in Illinois and we had a you know a, a week or so and we wasn't getting any money because I tore my rotator cuff at my job and we didn't have money coming in. So, you know, I had to start selling things and I re asked for money through a through a uh, what was kickstart not GoFundMe. That's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's hard to be, you know, hard to go through stuff like that. You know, during that time for seven, eight, nine years now, maybe maybe ten years now, almost ten years, give or take, because I, I was with her for seven years and I've been with uh, Monty for almost three. Um and you know, there's a lot of stuff happening. I and one of the things that happened, I was living in Mansfield, Ohio with uh, my ex 
And I was getting so sick, so depressed that, you know, I lost my job again. I was working at an olive garden. And I lost the job because they said I was sick and I couldn't work. So my depression got really, really bad and I was going to end it. So what I ended up doing, I called a friend. I talked to a friend. One of my best friends, like a brother to me. I asked him if he could come get me. And he did. He came and got me. He saved my life that he saved me because if nobody was shown up i it's hard to tell what would have happened you know I, but whenever i got home when i got home some friends didn't want to talk to me because they was too busy with their love lives and i don't blame you i mean you you fall in love head over heels and i'm i'm guilty of it you don't want anything to do with any anybody except for that one person but it did hurt when I needed somebody at that time when I asked for help and they replied and said, no, I'm too busy with such and such. That hurt me so bad. I like that still eats me today whenever I see this, uh, see my old friend's profile, like something pops up. Now, this goes to another part here. So for the longest time, and you're, we're going to get to this, for, for the longest time, I was super far left. I was liberal, far left, and I was young. And, you know, I voted for Obama twice. Um, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, I, 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 I like him as a guy. I like, you know, I would like to have a drink with Obama. I, you know, I think he's cool. Um, he wasn't a good president, but he would be somebody cool to have a drink with and have a conversation, but not a good president, not, not good. You know, the country kind of went its way. And I know a lot of people might hate what I'm saying and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So. I started getting more right leaning, right leaning to the point where I'm right in the middle. So I have liberal views and I have conservative views. I don't have what you call, well, what the internet calls far left or far right views. I don't have that. That's, that's something completely different. You know, there's a difference between a, being a Democrat and a Republican. Same as there's a difference between being a liberal and being a conservative. Being far left and far right is a totally different thing than any of those. That's where you have the radicalism. You see the protests, people hating each other every day on the internet, on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube. And I, you know, I might not be helping by making fun of Sweetie, but... It sucks. It gets depressing. You see that. And, you know, some of my friends, they are on the left. Some of my friends are on the very far left. Some of my friends are on the right. I have some friends that you would call far right. I don't share those beliefs. I'm right in the middle. Sometimes I lean a little to the right. Sometimes I lean a little to the left. But I kind of balance out a little bit balance out a little bit. It might not seem so. Uh, some of my friends will be like, Man, you're totally far right. I, uh, let me tell you this. So prior to the 2016 election, and this might turn some of you guys off, I was still liberal, still, still heavy liberal. My plan was to vote for Bernie Sanders because I like some of the stuff he, he was for. Again, that's me having some liberal views. But the DNC fucked Bernie Sanders and they brought in Hillary Clinton. And it was bad. It was it was messed up. The odds, like, he was doing great. People liked Bernie Sanders. Nobody liked Hillary. Hillary. No I did. That's why Trump won. I couldn't vote for I wasn't about to vote for Hillary Clinton. So I did what I thought was the right thing and voted for Trump. At first I didn't like Trump. 
but he started coming around. It, it, you, you can say what you want about Donald Trump. You can say he's egotistical, he has a big mouth, and those things are true. But, but he did a lot of good things. You know, I know a lot of people on the left can be like, you can't say that. That's terrible. You can't. You're far right. You're, you're, you're racist. You're transphobic. As soon as you say something along those lines, you're automatically considered a racist, a homophobe, a Nazi. There's no in between. Okay? There, there's not. And, and you know, you're going to hurt people's feelings. Ultimately, you are. By saying that, because people have become so um, out of touch, so soft, that anything that is said, it doesn't matter what context it's in, and it could be, you know, any type of activity that you do. One of your hobbies, you might offend somebody. They will put an agenda on those things. And it doesn't make it fun. Like, the political correctness stuff. I, you know, I don't like to be told that I'm a racist because I'm white. I don't want to be called a Nazi just because I have some right-leaning views. Same as I don't want to be considered a, uh, what what is it, a, a, a blue-haired checkmark. I don't know what they call liberals. I don't care, honestly. But I kind of think if, you know, from things that happened on the 2016 election on, I started going more to the right. Now, like I said, I was highly liberal, like big time. You're probably wondering, why are, why are we talking about politics? I just want to clear some things up. That way you guys know who I am, just in case. Because I don't want you to think that I'm, you know, a robot, some fake person that's putting on a show. I want you to know who I am. And if you, you're part of Chili's or Sweetie's posse, this should be plenty of ammo for you. Because in the end of the day, it doesn't matter. What I'm saying is you can be on the left and you can be on the right. And you can still be friends. You can s disagree with each other, but you can still be friends. I wish people would stop being so soft. You know, I, I understand we live in a new world. Uh, political correctness is insane. It's not. It, things are no longer funny. You know, you can't watch a movie these days or play a video game or read a magazine, read a book that doesn't have some type of political overtone. You just can't. It doesn't exist anymore. You're there. Everybody's focused on the message, even though the message people might not agree with. People know right from wrong. They do. People's not completely stupid. Now I got called by a friend. I'm not going to say the name, but I, I kind of got tired of some of the things. And whenever I take a look, I see his name. It takes me back to when he said that I'm too busy with so-and-so. When I needed him m more than anything that day. And it hurts. It really does. I've never told him. I haven't talked to him. I haven't. I, I don't talk to him. I, you know, I, I got called by him. <laughs> which is funny. Which is funny. Called me a hillbilly, what was it? Hilljack bootlicker. A hilljack bootlicker. What was it? The, no, hang on. Wait a second. It was a hilljack bootlicker brigade. Says I was a part of that. No, he didn't say. He, he said, that's what he said. That my content and the people that watches my content basically are these hilljack Bootlicking brigades. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. I don't consider myself as a bootlicker. I don't consider myself as a hilljack. I'm a nerd. I, I'm telling you, I'm a nerd. 
you know, some people say you, you need to lose weight. I know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Getting ready to sign up for boxing class. I actually ordered boxing gloves. Um, trying to build my credit up, so I ordered some boxing gloves and a mouthpiece. And I'm, I'm really serious about this. I really am. I'm actually going to start doing cardio and all this stuff. I, I that and I want to document it as I go. I want that to be a part of the channel. And I know this is long winded. This is a long video, and most people won't watch it because it's not uh, exactly what you want to hear. And I hope I don't lose, you know, subscribers because of it. You know, I I, I, I want to kind of end this just to say, hey, we might disagree on things. We might. You might not like my content. You might not like that I'm in the middle or lean right or lean to the left. But we can still be friends. We can still have a bond. And you guys, same goes to you. We we might disagree with each other at some point. I'm human. I am a I'm human. I'm gonna fuck up. I am. Yeah, I'm making a lot of changes to my life, right? I'm getting back into church, which has been great to me. Great to me. I you know, that's another thing we'll talk about. Um, getting back in the church, you know, preparing to get a new place, um, getting married, starting a life, something that, you know, I wanted to do a long time ago. And it's finally happening. You know, there's a lot of hard times going on right now, but I can't wait to see my fiance walking down the aisle for the first time. Can't wait for that day. I can't wait to see my friends and have them come over to our new place and hang out, watch movies, play video games like old times. I want to learn how to fight. I do. I want to learn how to fight. I want to learn how to take care of my body. I want to be open to things. I want you guys I want you guys to have the best time when you're here. I, I want to make this content for everybody. And I know it's not going to be for everybody. And the content will diversify. I know some people might think that the sweetie stuff is cringy. I, I get it. I get it. Trust me, I get it. You know, once sweetie disappears like he is now, be, once he becomes more irrelevant There'll be less content about it. Now we got a, a few months here where, you know, we're we're preparing for a you know an actual fight in this area between uh, police captain and Sweetie. You know, we're 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 waiting for this. We're we're hoping we do good with this. You know, Sweetie wants to talk a big game, so we like to see put having put his money where his mouth is. Just see what happens. I don't think that he will finally show up. I don't even think he'll show up on the 26th. He's going to get in trouble, guys. But there will be more, more content about him. But there will be also content about my, hopefully, transformation to not a big fat uh, chud. Maybe less depressing. Get off all these pills I'm on. You guys just don't understand. Let me show you something here. So, so this is what I take in the morning. There's about eight or nine pills there. And this is what I take at night. About eight pills there. I, I You know, a lot of that's the, for depression. Most of it's for depression and my heart. I want to get away from a lot of that shit. I want to get away from the insulin. I want to course correct. I was doing great. And I want to fix that. And I'm working on it, guys. I, I, I promise you, but I'm working on it. Uh, it's slow at first. And I'm trying to break these old habits. But I hope you guys follow me along. And hopefully, I, I'd love for this channel to take off. You know, rather, if you want to watch me 
you know, make sweetie videos or videos about people that's, you know, that means to be called out. Or I'm playing video games, talking about movies, talking about Pokemon, talking about my life. I hope the channel takes off. I really do. I really do. And I hope with that transformation and, you know, maybe we'll hit 10,000 followers. And we're going to steal this from Sweetie. We'll hit 10,000 followers or 50,000 followers or 1 million followers. I'm here for the long, I'm here for the long haul. I'm here for, I, I never thought that today I would be sitting at 1.04K followers. My videos has been getting almost a thousand views per video. I never thought that would happen. And I appreciate every single one of you. And if you made it through this um, whole video, tell me what you want in your life. Tell me what you want from me. If you hate me, tell me why you hate me. In the day, I still love you. You might hate me. I still love you. You're a person. You're human. You know, I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want bad things to happen to you. I don't. I really don't. But let me know what you guys um, want. Um, what do you want to see? Um, anything. I love my friends. I really do. And I, I made a mistake. I actually blocked that friend. Because I got tired and it, that just made my blood boil about being told my content's cringy and just coming from that one person. Normally it wouldn't bug me, but from that one person, and I love that guy. I still do. I, I think he's a great guy. I've known him for years. I don't want to lose him as a friend. We don't talk. I don't want to lose any of my friends. I want to make new friends, but I don't want to lose any of my old friends. Love them. But if they decide to walk away from me, that's fine too. I understand. I understand. Maybe my content's not for you. Maybe me being in the center of things, maybe leaning right, maybe leaning left. Maybe you don't like that. But like I said, I'm human. I'm a person. And again, Keep on with the comments, guys. I, I really, again, I love, if anything, you're actually making me push harder for this channel. With all the bad comments, it just makes me want to push harder because it makes me realize that maybe I'm doing something right. People are liking the content. And, you know, it's, it's great. I would love... I would love by the end of the year to hit 5,000 followers. Is that possible? You guys think it's possible? You know, we do have a lot of mo momentum, but that would be amazing to do that. And the only way we're going to do that is, you know, continue supporting each other, um, holding each other accountable, and, you know, just sharing. And, you know, I, I want this journey to be awesome for you guys. You know, I wanted to show you guys my wedding with my best friend. I want want you guys to see that. And most of all, I want you guys to be safe, happy, and do what makes do do whatever makes you you, I guess. Sorry this may be cringy. This may be a cringy video. But again, thank you so much for the support. And I, if you if you're watching this man, I'm sorry I blocked you. It just made me mad, and I'll unblock you. And if you decide you don't want to be my friend anymore, that's okay. I understand. I don't want to lose anybody. I lost a friend. Suicide. Lost a friend. One of my best friends. And I never want to go through that again. I don't, I don't want to lose a friend. I don't. I mean, it hurts me every day. It hurts me every day. But, um, 
yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm glad you stuck with me through this 30 minutes of me rambling i appreciate you all and i'll see you soon